Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 255 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, September 16th, 2015. Ricky, I see uh, that uh, a certain instrument is back, something that gives you all of your powers, the beard comb. What say you? Feels good to comb beards again. Right. So you ever comb? Old. You ever comb like just random people's beards, or just? I thought about it. Yeah. But Shane's beard, the artist on Black Clover stuff, it's a very combable beard. So right. As long as. Like, but you advise that he just get his own beard comb, right? <laughs> like. I'm sure. Oh, well, that's good to know. Don't touch my beard. Uh. <sighs> no. No. <laughs> Lots going on in the world of comics. DC Comics has announced a whole bunch of cancellations for books that, you know, we're not really surprised by, by some of their announcements. I know you're shedding a little bit of a tear for Lobo. Yes, yeah, uh, but at the same time I get to save money. That's always good. So. Uh, not good for retailers. You should be concerned about the money you're ripping out of our true. children's mouths. But now I got more money to buy other books. It's true. And speaking of other books, I'm sure along with these cancellations will come announcements for new titles that will be coming our way in uh, December and the new year. So uh, wherever you see cancellations, announcements for new titles, usually not too far behind. But the way DC's going, it's going to be like, oh, a new Batman title, oh, a new Superman title, oh, a new Justice I'm okay League. with that. I'm okay with that because that's the stuff that... Oh, man. DC's got such a cool, like... B list, C list character log. Why don't they just go into that? It's hard, man. It's hard to get those B and C list characters going in series where they're making enough money that they can keep producing them. Okay, uh, which is why you keep seeing like these six issue runs on characters like Lobo. It's true. Well, if they didn't change Lobo. Anyway, Ricky, we got lots to get to today, so let's go ahead and open up some boxes. All right, we have some collectibles and stuff to show you uh, to start off today's show. First up is the Batmo, sorry, the Bat Cycle from the Batman and Robin movie. We've got some chess pieces from DC Comics, Metallo, and Blackfire. On the Marvel chess piece side, we have Juggernaut and Dokken. Some new orange is the new black, Funko Pops. We've got Red and Alex Voss. And some new Star Wars pops. We've got Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker, X-Wing pilot. From Disney's The Princess and the Frog, we have Dr. Facilier. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one. It is the Batman Arkham Knight action figure. All right, I just want to take a quick second to uh, remind you guys to all take a look at store.stadiumcomics.com. Got a bunch of collector's packs up there now uh, available for purchase. We got a couple of hip hop packs remaining. These are the hip hop covers that are coming out starting in October from Marvel Comics. Uh, I think we have like one or two of those left, so get in on that now if you uh, were interested in that at all. We got Dark Knight 3 packs uh, still going strong on there. Those will be available online uh, for the next couple weeks. And uh, in the next few days, we're going to be adding a bunch of stuff that'll be going on sale in November, such as uh, Deadpool number one, uh, Venom and Carnage packs. Uh, those are going uh, on sale in November as well, uh, and a bunch of other stuff uh, that'll be coming your way. So keep an eye out for all of that, and check us out at store.stadiumcomics.com. Okay, moving on to the collected books, we have the Big Hero 6 Manga Edition Volume 2, A Force Presents Volume 1, featuring Thor, Captain Marvel, and Miss Marvel. Uh, these, these feature a bunch of number one issues of Marvel's biggest female heroes. Uh, it also includes Black Widow, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, and She-Hulk. So, uh, great book to pick up if uh, you want to get the first issue of any one of these great characters. From Image Comics, we have Birthright Volume 2, The Fade Out Act 2, The Flash Season 0 collected here, Batman Noir Hush. This uh, collects the uh, great story Batman Hush by Jeff Loeb and Jim Lee. Stripped of all of its color and presented here in Jim Lee's Pencils and Inks. Uh, really going to be a beautiful, beautiful book, uh, especially for those of you interested in uh, becoming comic book pencilers yourselves. This would be a great book to pick up, uh, just to see how uh, one of the masters 
um, handles his craft. Batman Volume 7, available in hardcover today. This features the uh, awesome Endgame storyline. All right, moving on to comics outside of the big two. We've got uh, a new publisher launching today. It's Double Take Comics. The editor-in-chief of Double Take Comics is Bill Jameis, and he is known uh, as being the guy who kickstarted the Marvel Ultimate line uh, over at Marvel Comics years ago. And what Double Take is planning to do uh, is the Night of the Living Dead has recently become public domain. So um, they're setting a whole bunch of stories within the Night of the Living Dead universe. Uh, and they're spinning it as like ultimate Night of the Living Dead. Anyway, ten titles launched today, all set in this universe. Um, first up is Spring, number one. Dedication, number one. Rise, number one. Remote, number one. Z-Men, number one. Wonder what the Z stands for. Medic, number one. Home, number one. Slab number one, Soul number one, and Honor number one. If you want to collect all ten in one shot, you can also buy the ten first issues in this uh, slip cover case. So what does the future have in store for Double Take? Well, that remains to be seen. It's a very ambitious project, uh, setting something in the Night of the Living Dead universe. Zombies are definitely, you know, hot right now with The Walking Dead and everything like that. Uh, Quality-wise, uh, I think the comics leave a little bit to, de uh, to be desired. Um, just flipping through them, uh, not having read any of the stories, uh, mind you, but looking through, the through them, the quality level of the actual uh, look of the comics uh, looks a, a little bit amateurish, uh, but you know that could just be a faulty first impression on my part. We'll leave it up to you guys to decide. But kudos to Double Take Comics for uh, taking a chance and uh, launching this ambitious plan of 10 uh, titles all at once. Uh, I hope it works out for them. Beauty number two from Image Comics has these two covers. Here's Rat Queens number 12, Southern Cross number 5, Odyssey number 7. Sex Criminals number 12, there's a triple X version of this cover. It comes in a pink poly bag once again. Uh, I don't have one here to show you though. Uh, it's it's at the uh, it's at our warehouse, and we've got a uh, special second printing uh, variant for Sex Criminals number eleven, and this features a uh, a unique kind of sketch cover uh, where you can draw, I guess, any face you want over Matt Fraction and Chip Zdarsky. Bloodshot Reborn number six, Invincible number one twenty three, Lady Mechanica Tablet of Destinies number five, Rye number ten. Gem and the Holograms number 7 has these two covers. Here's Mega Man number 53, The Fade Out number 9. A new series from Dark Horse today, it's The Paybacks, issue 1. Voltron from the Ashes number 1, a new one from Dynamite. Dave 2, issue number 1. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number 34. Here is the variant cover. Invader Zim number 3 has these two covers. And here's a new number 1 from Image Comics today, it's Tokyo Ghost number 1. It's written by Rick Remender and illustrated by the awesome Sean Murphy. Uh, and it's got these two covers here. I think this is going to be a big book. All right, moving on to DC Comics. We've got Martian Manhunter number four. Black Canary number four. We've got a Green Lantern variant for that book. Bizarro number four. Injustice number ten. Throw Harley on the cover. Hope to sell a few more issues. Green Lantern Lost Army number four. Wonder Woman number 44. Here's the uh, cool Wonder Woman variant. Invisible Jet versus uh, Hal Jordan's ring projected jet uh, by Terry Dodson. This is uh, a cool cover. Constantine number four, Doctor Fate number four, Doomed number four, The Secret Six number six, Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman, Superman Wonder Woman number 21, here's the Green Lantern variant for that book, Harley Quinn number 20, the Harley Quinn Green Lantern variant by Dan Panosian. Robin, Son of Batman number four, the Green Lantern variant. And finally today we've got Batman Arkham Knight Genesis number two. Moving on uh, to Marvel, we've got a couple of new True Believers reprints. Uh, these are the one dollar issues that Marvel um, does for some of their more popular titles over the last year or so. So first up we've got the uh, Thor number one by Jason Aaron and Russell Dodderman. And She Hulk number one. In the new books, we have Miracle Man number two, 
Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier number 12, Armor Wars number 5, Infinity Gauntlet number 4, House of M number 3, All New Hawkeye number 5, Age of Apocalypse number 4, Lando number 4, Agent Carter number 1, this is uh, an another of the 50th anniversary of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, line of comics. Here's a variant for that book. There's also an action figure variant, which I don't have to show you because like the Sex Criminals one, it was accidentally left at our warehouse. But it will be here on Wednesday morning. Guardians of Nowhere number four. Spider Island number four. Spider-Verse number five. Here's the awesome Spider-Verse variant cover. Star Wars number nine. Star Wars number nine. Will we get more details in this issue about Han Solo's ex-wife? Here's the action figure variant for Star Wars number nine. And then finally, many, many years in the making from Marvel Comics, it's, it's the continuation of Captain America uh, White issue number one. Uh, Captain America White issue zero was released a long time ago. Nothing else really ever came of it. Uh, there, was, there was plans for it to be released. It never got released. It's being released now, and they've reprinted the issue zero in here. Uh, for those of you who didn't get a chance to pick it up uh, all those years ago, uh, I think it was like 2008 or 2009 when it came out, but I would have to check my facts on that. Uh, so Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, so you know the book's going to look amazing on the inside, and Jeff Loeb always does a great job of writing, uh, so pick this one up if you get the chance. Here is the variant cover, also by Tim Sale, and the awesome Scotty Young variant cover. Alright guys, so last week we were giving out a copy of, uh, let's see if I can get this right, Star Wars, uh, Road to Star Wars Force Awakened, Star Wars Shattered Empire. I think that's right, I don't know. Uh, it could be called Star Wars Butt Crack for all I care. Now, it seemed pretty good, I didn't read it yet, but heard good things about it. Uh, so we asked you guys what you're most excited for in the Star Wars, in the new Star Wars movie, and uh, issue number zero comic said, I'm not as excited as most people. They'll probably run them into the drain with all these new characters. Uh, you know, Disney, Marvel, slash Marvel, slash Disney, slash uh, ABC, slash literally everything in the world, uh, they do tend to run things in the ground. So, I mean, you know, we're, we're kind of oversaturated with Star Wars already. And just wait until this becomes a cultural phenomenon again. Josh Elias says, I'm looking forward to Luke coming back as a Jedi God. I didn't know that was a thing, but man, am I excited for that. Uh, <clears throat> Michael Kaufman said, I'm most excited for the movie to be pretty cool, but have one flaw and everybody giving it bad reviews and dissing Disney just because that one flaw. We all know it's going to happen. It's true, man. Happens to everybody. Happens to me. I didn't have a beard comb last week. That one ripped into me. Beard comb this week, people loving it. That's right, I got the comb back. <laughs> uh, Shane Rocks Like entertained us with a beautiful rap. He says, the thing I'm most excited about in the movie is the rapping. It's speculated that Kylo Ren is so mad because he was turned down with a record deal. The movie will end by Finn beating Kylo Ren in a rap battle by rapping alongside Chewie and Han Solo with his rap straight out of Millennium Falcon. I'll give you a sneak peek. Um, straight out of Millennium Falcon, it's a crazy smuggler named Han Solo from the gang Rebels with Attitude. When you and Mos Eisley and you see me, you better haul ass or you ain't leaving. So if you see me, you better duck, because Han Solo is crazy as F. That's right, I had to censor that last bit. Han Solo's crazy, man. Uh, that is probably the greatest rap I've ever heard in my life. And I really hope Star Wars kind of degenerates into an 8 mile. Because that movie was, was alright, it was a good movie. But the winner goes to Charlie McCabe, who said, I'm looking forward to seeing BB-8 because every day I dream of seeing him and just hugging him to death. Ah, isn't that cute? You know, hopefully he's not like an evil robot. You know, you can see him pulling that switcheroo and all of a sudden bb 8s like this evil robot and you're like, oh man, why is he, why is he running over babies with his ball? And you're like, oh, terrible. I, I actually hope that happens. But congratulations, Charlie McCabe. Head on over to statencomics.com slash prizes to find out how to get your information to us. This week what we're giving out is Captain America White. This is a hefty book, 
full of lots and lots of comic pages. So this is part of a series. You got Captain America White, you got uh, the Hulk Gray, you got Spider-Man Blue, uh, Daredevil Yellow, I believe it was. Uh, so if you can give any superhero a color, what color would it be and why? So I would give Deadpool brown because of all those chimichangas he eats. And there will definitely be some brown coming out of the town, you know what I'm saying? No little brown coming out of the town. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Well, hopefully you know. Give another superhero a color and why. And the best answer win a copy of Captain America White. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, you know, Ricky, when I went through the Marvel stuff, I kind of just like skimmed past the variants, you know, in a rush, not really paying attention to what's going on. And uh, I failed to notice that this Spider Verse cover is by our good friend Jamal Price Campbell, who is uh, who's a, an awesome young artist from uh, the From a Hat yeah. Artist Collective here locally. Real shame here, he's super humble. He didn't even talk about this variant coming out at all. No one Maybe did. he doesn't even know it's coming out. Who knows? Maybe we're breaking the news <laughs> right He's here. Like, oh my God. But it's an awesome, awesome cover. It's yeah. the 1 in 25 variant for Spider-Verse. So congrats again, Jamal, for another awesome cover. I uh, can't wait to see more stuff from you, man. And I'd like to talk about this. Just came in specially ordered for me. That's what you get for going through Diamond and ordering stuff. Heavy Metal issue 276. Look at that cover. Mm. Some Jack Kirby goodness yes, there, right? Yeah, so this is the first time Jack Kirby has ever been in heavy metal. And basically what it is, you remember that movie Argo? Yeah, yeah. So Jack Kirby did concept art right. for that fake movie. Yeah, yeah. And, what uh, was the movie called again? I don't even remember. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lords of Light or something? Yeah. So the heavy metal took it and colored it in these like crazy neon colors. It looks so good. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I think a lot is going to come of this Jack Kirby kid. <laughs> He's got some chops. He's yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Obviously. We know who Jack Kirby is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Keep an eye out this week for a new Comic Boxer unboxing. That'll be coming your way uh, sometime by the end of this week. And uh, follow us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. We'll see you guys all next time for episode 256. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week. <laughs> <laughs>